the body does not allow a certain amount of energy to enter the cellular level. For it to enter the cellular level, neem and turmeric as a combination is a tremendous, it's like a dilator. Neem is available almost right across the country except in the mountainous places. Now, they are making what is called as nano turmeric, where the absorption rate is way higher than the normal turmeric, which also greatly enhances your immune system, dilates the cellular structure in such a way that it is able to absorb. As you do your asanas, the body will simply crackle with a different kind of energy. Every morning before we do our morning practices, we have neem and turmeric with a tepid light honey water. Now, uh, some people said this has a lot of medicinal benefits and it's very supportive for your Vixadaram. Anything that you borrow from the planet, it will cause a certain level of inertia in the system. Now, the important thing is that you're conscious of this and to keep the inertia levels at the minimum. Why always, whether your sadhana is working or not, is always gauged by how much you sleep and how alert you are, is because we're checking the inertia. How much inertia are you generating? If you're generating too much inertia, obviously you need to do something about it. The inertia levels will increase if the body does not allow a certain amount of energy to enter the cellular level. For it to enter the cellular level, neem and turmeric as a combination is a tremendous, it's like a dilator that it allows the energy to enter and fill up every crevice in the body. Neem and turmeric is a good support because it dilates the cellular structure in such a way that it is able to absorb. As you do your asanas, the body will simply crackle with a different kind of energy. So, consumption of uh, neem and turmeric with a mildly laced honey water acts as a wonderful way of cleansing the system, dilating the system, that when you do sadhana, one thing it brings flexibility to the muscles, another thing is because the dilation brings flexibility to the muscle, and that flexibility as a consequence becomes a way that you slowly build the system into a more powerful possibility. Taking care of the food and a few things is important, as important as sadhana. Being disciplined with your food, what you take into the system is as important as doing the sadhana. The idea is, if you take this neem and turmeric combination early in the morning and drink something warm, it uh, cleanses the stomach in a big way. If there are any minor infections in your stomach, it will go away. And it also kills the cancerous cells in the body. When I say cancerous cells, every one of our bodies has cancerous cells, but they're disorganized. They're all over the place. For some reason, if you create certain situations in the body, they will get organized. So, from petty crime to organized crime, serious problem, isn't it? There are petty criminals everywhere, in every town. Here and there, they'll do little pickpocket, this, that, no problem. Fifty of them get organized in Coimbatore city, then suddenly the whole atmosphere in the city will change because these fifty guys together can do such things that it'll become dangerous for you to step on the street. So that's all is happening in the body. There are cancerous cells. These are criminal cells. If they're loafing around by themselves, no problem. If they all gather in one place, it's a problem. If the law enforcement is conscious and active, they will make sure here and there they'll pick up one guy and throw him in. They'll do something, you know so that they never gather in enough numbers to become a major problem. So the same thing with the body, before they gang up, if you keep breaking them up here and there, killing a few guys, every day neem just does that, it just reduces. It keeps the number of cancerous cells in the body within a certain percentage where it doesn't really gang up against the system. So it's a very important thing to consume neem. Only thing about neem is if you consume it in excess quantity, it also kills the sperm cells. Because it's a spermicide, it must be consumed in small quantities because it's not for us to decide what should happen to an individual. Women, when they're pregnant, up to four months of pregnancy or to be safe, up to five months of pregnancy, one should not consume neem because it is a spermicide. When the fetus is developing, the role of the sperm is still there to a certain point. Four months is what is prescribed. I am saying five months, one can start after five months.